Hi, how's it going? So many things these days have built-in lithium batteries. By their very nature, batteries have a limited lifespan. So what do you do when the battery eventually dies? In some cases, there's not much you can do, so the product is basically disposable. But in more cases than people may realize, the batteries can actually be replaced. I wanted to start pointing out cases like this because not only could it save you some money, I also think we should try to get away from the throwaway mindset when possible. I'm not judging anyone for not wanting to bother with a repair like I'll be showing. You have to do what works for you. But in many cases, it is possible to replace a battery, even if it isn't super easy, and I wanted to do my tiny part in letting people know, and maybe even making them feel more comfortable trying something like this. So what I have here today is the iFi Go Blue. It is a Bluetooth headphone amp that lets you use wired headphones wirelessly with any Bluetooth capable device. And even with this tiny device, you can replace the battery. And I wanna give iFi credit here. I reached out to their support and they offered me two options. I could pay to have them replace the battery or they would just sell me the kit to replace it myself. Even though it's not like the old days where you just slide open a cover and pop in a new battery, I appreciate when companies offer options for battery replacement. So I purchased the kit, which even came with a new decorative metal plate because I imagine it's difficult to remove this without bending it up. But I still am going to try to save the original one. If someone bought a non-original battery and spliced or soldered it in, they'd have to reuse the original part if possible. Speaking of soldering and splicing, I appreciate that the battery has a little connector on it, rather than being soldered in. This suggests not only a design choice made toward repairability, but it does make replacement much easier once you get the case open. It also makes the replacement more doable for average folks without having to buy specialty tools like soldering equipment. So that's a definite benefit to the design and a benefit to buying the original battery versus buying an aftermarket one. But even if you buy an aftermarket battery, swapping the connector from the original battery to the new aftermarket one is still likely going to be easier for most folks than soldering a new battery directly to the board. So let's get this thing opened up and get this battery swapped out. Well, it wasn't too bad. And I think with a little cleanup and a little double-sided tape, I could definitely reuse the original. I was able to keep it pretty well intact. That was not too difficult. Now we just have a couple screws to get into it. That was actually <laughs> remarkably easy. Now I think, just based on the fact that the kit came with a little dab of self-adhesive foam, I think this is going to be held in with foam. Adhesive. Yep, sure enough. It was adhesived in, but not too bad. The original adhesive. And here is the original battery. Oh, 
Oh, lost a button. <clears throat> Easy peasy. back in when I'm done. Now it doesn't seem like there's as much cable on the new battery, so it's kind of designed to go in a little bit different, but that's okay. Plugged in easy. Go ahead and peel the foam. Sticky. And there we go, new battery in place. Power button back in place. Still powers up, so that's good. Power it back down, and this should just be. I'll probably put new glue on this at some point, but probably still enough on there at the moment to hold it on there. So good enough for the moment. <laughs> Either way, battery replaced. So brand new battery in place. And that really wasn't all that difficult. And with a lot of devices, it really isn't that much more difficult than this. That's not to say there aren't plenty out there that are extremely difficult or really just not even practical to replace a battery. But if you do have a device like this, and the only thing wrong with it is that the battery just doesn't last anymore, rather than just pitching it or even recycling it, hopefully, maybe it's worth looking it up to see is a battery available and what is the process for replacing it because it really might not be that bad. So that's it, kind of a short one today. Hopefully that was interesting or helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care.